Okay, folks, look, sometime on my channel, I like to just go ahead and put together some, uh, some like quick and easy, and I'm gonna say they fun, you know, recipes, right? Listen, it's gonna be a pizza, but instead of do, using pizza dough, we're using French bread. Let's get it. All right, so look, what I'm gonna do is right now, look, there's very little prep work, you know, when you do this, right? Uh, you guys can make your own marinara or your own type of sauce that you would like, but look, I'm trying to make it quick, fast, and fun. Last minute, make this for the kids, you know what I mean? It's summertime, you put this out, and I don't know why I say summertime, because look, this is good just throughout the, you know, throughout the whole season, throughout the whole year. Now, with that being said, listen, what I'm gonna do is, look, we got Italian sausage, thick cut bacon, pepperoni, we got our jarred sausage right here, bell pepper, French bread, we got an onion, Oh, and I probably should have said this, folks. This is gonna be a meaty supreme. Let's go. Okay, so when I mentioned prep work, I mean, just a couple of things you need to do, but check it out, we are gonna do everything simultaneously, right? So I start making my, you know, my bacon. I don't put it in on top trying to cook it because you'll cook your bread and everything with it. So look, we just want to get this a little soft. Once we get it soft, we take it out. Okay, so look, we got that bacon going, right? Obviously. So what I'm gonna do now is, we talking about multitasking, right? So I just cut this like this, you know what I mean? I cut it like that, I, I got a habit of that because when I stuff them, I like for them to stand up. Just a little bit of a pro tip for you. So I'm gonna cut them like this a little bit. All right, so now all we gotta do now is just prep, you know, our onion. Let me go ahead and get it peeled and then we'll continue. And I got it, you guys gonna say that this pork right here is gonna render its own fat, but when you got bacon fat and I got this uh, Italian sausage, come on folks. Okay, so for those of you guys that always like, you know, they've been following me for a minute, right? I usually like to take my ground meat and grind it up small. Here, it really doesn't, it's up to you how you wanna do it. All right, so you remember I said, look at the size. To me, this is okay. So actually what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to turn this off just so I don't continue cooking it as I'm talking, right? But you see that? I like them like that. It depends on how much meat you have, but I'm gonna go ahead and break it up just in half, right? That's why I love these bamboo, you know, square edge utensils. So we'll just move this like this. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna get me another, let's see, another paper plate lined with, you know, a paper towel, take this off. Anything that's left in here, that's how we gonna soften up. Look at these right here. That's how we're gonna soften up these veggies. Now don't forget, we don't wanna like take these all the way down. We just wanna soften them up because we're gonna finish them in the oven. Okay, so look, now it get real easy, right? Look, I drained a little bit of, you know, the fat that was inside of here, you know? So now I'm gonna just add my onions, right? Let it start sweating. Just about a 30 seconds to a minute. Remember, we softening, right? I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. Okay, so now we get down to the good part, right? Look, we got sauce, our bacon is made. We got our sauces on there. We got some soft veggies. Oven is up to temp. Now I'm getting ready to just cut this in half. And then, you know what, I gotta say this part. When you got a bread knife, look, it's serrated for a reason. I got a slicer, you know, it's nice and smooth and sharp. But look, you're supposed to let it work. I don't put a whole lot of pressure when I cut it. I see people when they cutting bread, you know what I mean? They like butchering it. I let it just, I just move it back and forth and I try to go as far as I can lengthwise and let the, you know, the serrated teeth do the work, right? So here, you can see right there where that seam is at. You can find the other one. And then now you just want to bring it across like this. These are going to be your halves. All right, so look, now we get down to the fun part. Now, like I said, listen, a lot of this is, uh, you gotta do it like a little bit of prep work, but these are last minute, you know, like meal ideas. That's fun, especially they, and they kid friendly. Now let's just talk about the sauce. I know I get these, you know, uh, questions or comments down there, everybody asking, like, what do you use for that? How come, you know, sometimes I use spaghetti sauce, marinara, hey, you ask me, I'm gonna just say this, what's the difference? You go with whatever you guys like that tastes great. And if you're doing it by the jar, that means you didn't made some spaghetti before and you used it. So whatever your palate, you know, whatever your palate likes, that's what you use. That's how I do it. You got to do this, you know, do whatever. I'll just put it right in here like this. 
it's gonna make sense to you in just one second. Now, look, right? Take some, just put it over the top. I like using the ladle, you know what I mean? Make me feel a little bit on, on the Italian side. Look at what I'm doing right here. It's okay, if it come over on the side, don't worry. I promise you. Look at that right there. We got some pepperoni. Let's go ahead and decorate. And then I know some of y'all follow everything, you know, follow a lot of my recipes, right? You look at that and you say, man, he sure did put a lot of meat on there. Yes, sir. I'm going to do it like this. Not a whole lot of mozzarella. We just want to put a little bit down, right? We want something to stick to that, right? So now I'm going to come with a little bit of this meat. Look at this right here. And you're going to understand why I said that, because I'm going to put a little bit more mozzarella on top. Now, come over here and grab me a little bit of this veggie, right? Listen, there's no right way or wrong way to make these. You make them how you want to make them. Main thing is you just capture that flavor. And if you made them anything like the way I'm making these right here, you're going to be all right. Then we want to make it, we want to tie it all in together. Ah. You see that right there? If I didn't say before, I'm going to say it now, 415 degrees, right? The time goes by this. I look at it and see when it's done. It usually takes about 10 to 13 minutes, right? Close it. And then I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I don't want nothing to burn on the top. We want to take it out and make, have it be nice and pretty. Okay, so when they're ready, you can see, look, this one is good and this one. And then if you let it sit up too long, it might not do a cheese pull like, you know, regular, but you could just see how it is, right? You see that right there? This is what you want. Now this is kind of big. I really want to cut this down and you know, if you cut them down like that into like, I guess like inch and a half, maybe two inch, you know, slices, which I'm getting ready to do right now. I'm finna get me a little bit of that sauce. I'm a dip and we finna eat folks. And now for the best part, I just give it a little dip. You know what I mean? Now look, I do have a pro tip. I'm gonna show you guys. You can take your bread and you can pull out the center if you wanna like load it up. That you can do. For me, this is okay the way I did it. So I'm gonna give it a little, mm. Right, just to get it coated like that. Check this out. Cheers. Hey, check it out, folks. Super easy. You know what I mean? Uh, these kind of recipes like this is like really for like that last minute. And listen, if you got like younger kids, you can get everybody involved. These are like little fun recipes that you can make. And don't forget, if you got leftover uh, meat in your uh, refrigerator, you can like add that to it. Hit it with that sauce, mozzarella them bell peppers and onions, and then check it out, you got a pizza. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I always leave one of these, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and check it out. I'm out, peace.